Good morning. If you watched the previous vid, you'll remember that we are visiting Studland in Dorset, at the east end of the Jurassic Coast. We're staying at the Knoll House Hotel. We're going for a walk to Aggleston Rock, which is on the heath at the back of the hotel. The path is behind the children's adventure playground and leads out through the woods. Edith's keen to get going. This whole area, the woods and the heath, is a site of special scientific interest, or SSSI, and it's all owned by the National Trust. It feels almost prehistoric in these woods, with all of the ferns and the old trees. I'm half expecting to meet a dinosaur along the path. We hadn't been in the wood for very long before I noticed a lot of ants on the path. Then we realised why. This is a southern wood ants nest. There will probably be several queen ants in there somewhere, laying eggs, and hundreds of thousands of other ants, all working away. And yes, I did get stung. We'll leave the ants and carry on through the woods, out towards the open heath. There's a signpost up ahead. We're going in the right direction. It seems that we can take either path to get to Aggleston Rock. We'll take the left path. Here's the heath opening out in front of us, and we can see Agustin Rock in the distance. It's a bit wet in places, so there are some boardwalks for us to use. I mentioned earlier that the whole area here is a site of special scientific interest. Among the animal species that can be found here are the rare smooth snake and the sand lizard. I very much doubt we'll see either of those today. This heath is also home to the Dartford warbler, which is another rare species. Over to our left now, we can see quite a lot of cotton grass. You may have heard me talk about cotton grass in another vid. This grows in wet and boggy areas, so I don't advise you to go walking among the cotton grass, or you might find yourself sinking. We're getting closer to Aggleston Rock now.
Here we are at Agoston Rock. The rock used to look like this until 1970 when it toppled over. Legend has it that the devil threw this stone here from the Isle of Wight, but I'm not sure that story stands up to too much scrutiny. There's a great view from up here, out across the heath and the sea. The rock is made of sandstone and weighs about 400 tonnes. I'm sure the people who chiselled their initials here are proud of themselves. So that's our walk to Agglestone Rock. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel to help it grow.